Hey, what's up, my Rondoudou? Today is a very special video that I've been eager to do since the very beginning of this channel. I'm gonna tell you five things that I keep seeing across low-level, mid-level Jigglypuff players that I want you to stop doing right now. So that's gonna be five things. Uh, we'll discuss a bit about that. Feel free to give your own advices in the comments. And uh, you know, I'm always down to uh, discuss with you. And let's get going, let's get going. The first option I want Jigglypuff players to stop doing all the time is rising fair in neutral. It's not as great as one could think. Uh, it doesn't really get you a lot of rewards. Even if it wins neutral by being very committal, after that you won't get a lot of things with a rising fair out of shield, for example. You often eat the weak part of this forward air, which not it's not that great to follow up, uh, especially on stage. Yeah, it doesn't send your opponent into tumble, it does 7%. Even if you actually win neutral with this uh, rising four there, you will often get reversed uh, for that. So maybe instead of like doing only this short up fair, maybe you can delay a bit your uh, approach with aerial. You can delay the fair to be a strong fair, which is a bit better more reward, more follow-ups. This brings me to the second item on this list and uh, for me it's the misuse of Puff Aerial Momentum. She has the best air mobility in the game and it's a very very uh, satisfying character to play when you actually get a good grasp on this air mobility. So Puff has the best air mobility in the game and the thing is it's very important for Puffs to actually master this element and often when I when I check like low and mid level Puffs they, they are just using the air mobility to just like get to their opponent fast but they don't really use it as a bait and uh, putting some ambiguity ambiguity in their approaches and I think that's that's a big thing to not do just using your aerial mobility to just crush on your opponent's shield with something like maybe I don't know raising fair or something like that. <laughs> and um, yeah, it's not you. You'll get punished if you if you only do that. If you are only crush on your opponent's shield, you just attack a smash out of shield, a bit of shield, jump aerial. They will punish you. But if you use your aerial mobility to actually always put on some ambiguity in your approach in, okay, am I going to cross up? Cross up means like you, when you actually pass by your opponent and you end up behind them. Should I not cross up? You, you have to make them guess and just not eat the shield for free because that's something that will get you punished. You, you can also you can also use this amazing air mobility to actually use uh, retreating aerials, especially for example you're doing a back air and you're doing an attack console back air maybe. I don't know if you check the video. You're doing attack console back air and you will hit the shield and once you hit, don't continue to have this full in momentum, but you actually are retreating for very safe and uh, nice approach, okay? third item on the list it's a very broad one but it's not using puffs kit to its fullest um i mean if you have been following around this character you know that in 2020 this character evolved a whole lot like it has been not even only through patches but also from movement discoveries combo discoveries advanced technique and it's very important for Jigglypuff players to actually follow the meta because things are evolving fast and things are getting very, like, very, very important and strong options are getting discovered pretty much all the time. Like, it's, it's kind of crazy how big and wide the combo tree of this character is and just, just something that when I see low and mid level players, once again, they are not using, like they are re re resolving around like this four, five moves, like they are using pound, they are using four there and nair, roll out, <laughs> I don't know. And that's the thing, like she has a very, very interesting, uh, interesting um, kit because 
one could think, and uh, I don't know if you remember the video about the five misconceptions about Jigglypuff, what, one could think that she has not uh, that good of a ground game, but I'm sorry to, to break the news for you. She has a pretty good ground game, she has a pretty good grab, she has a pretty good, she has good tilts, and uh, that's the thing, like, um, a lot of Puff are not using it. And there's one thing as well, and I'm seeing that even from upper echelon of Puff players, and you guys don't use there. You guys don't use there. There is the best move we have. No question, no question. This move down there is the best we have. It's a bit broken, like it requires a lot of work to actually get a good grasp on it. Good, but. Come on, it's, that's 18 damage, 18 damage multi-hit, pretty safe, it pokes, I don't know man, I don't know. If I were you, I would be, uh, I would be looking for a down air guide, uh, pretty soon, and maybe, maybe we'll do one, L let me know if you're actually interested in a, a down air guide, down air. The last do not do are going to be self-explanatory, small, small one, but don't do pound too close to your opponent. Uh, pound is a move that is, it's very unsafe, and it, it can be very unsafe and it can be very safe. Rule of thumb on pound is the latest you hit your opponent with the hitbox, the better it is. If you hit like straight at the beginning, you'd be minus 13. Minus 13 is pretty bad. It's pretty bad. You hit the very last frame of pound, you'll be plus four. Plus four is really good. Plus four is really good. So yeah, just train yourself to actually space your pound nicely and try to hit, try to hit your pound with the the later hitboxes. It's gonna be it's gonna help you a lot and it's a it's a spacing issue in the end and it will help you improve on your spacing and that's gonna be good because spacing is very important for Jigglypuff. Um the last one don't sing in neutral it's bad like uh, this move is bad <laughs> and when I see puffs doing sing in neutral and sometimes I do sing in neutral and every single time I'm pressing up and B with this character, I'm disappointed. <laughs> it's like it's bad. Use it, uh, to be honest, use Sing as uh, Tech Chase. Tech Chase on platforms, it's pretty good. And use it during the, um, during the jab, jab lock. The jab lock, jab, jab, Sing, that's great. And everything that's on your shield worse than 27 frame. I think the first the first uh, wave of seeing is like uh, frame 27, which is pretty slow as fuck. Uh, but yeah, yeah, there are some moves you can sing out of shield, but don't use it in neutral. Please don't don't do that. <laughs> I want to give out special shout outs to the members of the channel. Uh, you guys supporting the channel. Some some of you actually unlock like the two month uh, sub badges. So that, that's pretty nice. I was like, yeah, the, the second, the two month badges is the, is the POG gene. So pretty great. I'd I would like to thank our club members, Sebastian and Muffins. I would like to thank our very important Puff, Mooks, Joseph, Dear Info, and Timon Me, and of course the fundraiser launch with Grand Radiateur and Zuxa. Thank you a lot. The support means a lot to me. Uh, and that's it for the video. That's it uh, actually for the video. It was a very uh, smaller one. Now I have lights. Uh, we're getting equipped. I hope you enjoyed this video, tell me in the comments, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like, don't forget to leave a comment and join the Puff Club as well, super nice Discord, and I'll see you next time. Ciao.